Is your poison negatively affecting your life? I've run enough urine tests to show that everybody has multiple poisons in their body. It could be mycotoxins from mold. It could be chemicals, which are very prevalent. It could be lead, for example. The average person has a thousand times more lead in their body now than before lead was added to gasoline. There are forever chemicals. They're called PFAS, and they come in the rain. 80 to 100% of rain has the forever chemicals and glyphosate, which is Roundup. Everybody is poisoned. The question is, do you have enough in your body to negatively affect your health? Most people base their healthcare decisions on symptoms and billing codes. I propose that you instead base your healthcare choices on physiology and actually what's happening inside the body. And I'm gonna show you the mechanism and then the finite number of causes of chronic illness and how you can discover what you have and then what to do about that next. Now to understand the physiology, what I'm trying to teach you, it's really simple because there's only three things that are really important. And that is how does the body make energy? So the first one is awesome. The second one is horrible. And the third one is moderate. So here they are. The first one that's awesome is right here within these, this blue line. You can see my arrow. This is called mitochondria. This is an organelle that is inside cells. There are minimum 500 to up to 10,000 mitochondria per cell. And when you produce energy in the mitochondria, you get lots and lots of energy very efficiently with very little waste, very little toxicity. Now, what's horrible is this in this upper right-hand corner. This is where you lose energy. Your body's trying to make it, but yet you lose it. It's called lactic acidosis. And this is the death cycle also known as cachexia. Most people die this way and they get a diagnosis such as cancer, heart disease, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, all kinds of different diseases. But this is the mechanism of how most people die. Then the third way that's moderate is sugar burning. Now the key is when you burn sugar, it should create a product called pyruvate. This is half a sugar and it needs to cross this blue barrier and get into the mitochondria then you get 36 ATP per cycle. ATP is energy. And when you just burn glucose, you get only six ATP. And when you burn lactate or you do lactic acidosis, you get negative two ATP. But the crux is right here, pyruvate. If you don't have good transportation of pyruvate into the mitochondria, it'll convert into lactate. Right here where my arrow is, lactic acidosis. The fermentation of lactate is the death cycle. So what you want to do is enhance the pyruvate transporting into the mitochondria. But right here, you can see red font. Let me read it to you. These are the things that prevent the pyruvate from entering mitochondria and then creating lots and lots of energy. It says toxic heavy metals, industrial and environmental toxins, herbicides, pesticides, pathogens, and toxins from pathogens, such as mycotoxins, and then bacteria and parasites, they create toxins too. These are the things that harm your body. Now, you may have heard of ketosis, and that is the enhancement of mitochondrial function by burning fat and the reduction of glucose or sugar metabolism. Ketosis is a great thing. And if you're relatively healthy, you get energy from it. But a lot of people get into ketosis and they don't feel the energy surge. They may even feel worse. It's because they can't transport pyruvate into the mitochondria because of the toxins, the chemicals, the metals, the bacteria, the, the mycotoxins from mold and the, and the parasites. So you gotta detoxify your body in order to enhance ATP production. And now you know the basic fundamental physiology in your body. And if you're not feeling well, maybe you have fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, depression, your muscles hurt all the time, you have low energy, you need to take naps, et cetera, et cetera. Now you know that you're lacking ATP production. When you have lots of ATP production, you have a very strong immune system. You can detoxify your body very well. And the question is, what toxins do you have and how much do you have? And what does it take to get rid of them? Here's how you can tell if you have enough toxicity to negatively affect your life. This is a quiz I put together. This is a shortened version of that quiz. And it's called the Nutritional Deficiency Lactic Acidosis Quiz. And we have three parts. Number one, body, muscles, arms, and legs. So muscles and movement. The second part, chest, lungs, 
heart. So functioning of your vital respiratory and circulatory organs. And then part three, brain. And brain seems to be the longest because it's depression, bad thoughts, and other problems. And basically lactic acidosis is dirty blood and hypoxia caused by nutritional deficiency or toxicity. There's a finite number of causes of chronic illness. There are 10 and it's broken up into a few categories. Number one, toxins. Under the category of toxins, we have metals, chemicals, and radiation. The next category is organisms. We have parasites, mold, bacteria, Lyme, and viruses. Lyme are organisms that live inside the cells. Mold also has other names, yeast, fungus, candida. Parasites are rampant. The third category is diet. The only thing about diet is excess sugar metabolism. If you go back up to chemicals, I put including plant oils and food because people ask me, what about canola oil? What about food preservatives? What about food flavor enhancers? And they say, well, those are chemicals. Those are poisonous. And then the last one is drainage organs not working well. We have colon, liver, kidneys, lymph, skin, sinuses, and lungs. These organs excrete poisons out of the body. If any of them are hampered, then you need to revitalize them with nutrients. There's specific supplements. There's fantastic herbs. So get the drainage organs going, reduce the sugar intake in your diet, get the organisms out, get the toxins out, and that's how you enhance mitochondrial function and avoid the death cycle up here, lactic acidosis. Now, what I just described to you was a mechanism. The next step is to find the cause. What is your poison? So what do you do next? Number one, take this quiz to find out if you have enough toxicity in your body causing harm. Once you figure out that you have excess amounts of toxicity causing harm to your body, the next step is our job to find out what your poisons are, how severe they are, and what do we do to take care of them. Don't forget to fill out the bottom fields and then submit it to us. We'll get back to you. So get to that quiz and start your health improvement journey now.